This is Whitby, one of the most evocative places I've been. I featured it in stories like the Whitby Experience and in the Hand of Glory, where one enchanted day the entire population falls asleep wherever they happen to be standing, sitting, eating or driving a car. It's Whitby of course that exerts its magical charisma on both vampiric and vampiric rites, but then as a setting for fiction I find it irresistible and so did another man by the name of Bram Stoker. For me, place influences story, so for my next novel, I decided to set it somewhere radically different. This time the setting will be the City of London, home to 7 million people, noisy, bustling, sometimes brash, occasionally alarming, yet a city with its own mysterious places and hidden backwaters. From these uncanny treasures in the British Museum to the vortex that is London takes just a few steps. And for someone like me, who lives in the peace of the English countryside, this is an intoxicating, if sometimes bewildering experience. It's a world of sounds, images, scents. Add to that a wonderful kaleidoscope of cultures, and it becomes another world. A world where the extraordinary not only might happen, but becomes a matter of destiny. In London under midnight, its heroes and vampires are the denizens of this unique town. From the Arabic realm of Brick Lane, with its aroma of exotic spices and music from Damascus and beyond, to the haunted back lanes of Whitechapel, where Jack the Ripper once roamed. From ancient to modern, from street level to underground. And through it all, the River Thames, liquid history, capital lifeblood. <laughs> 